How you doing? And thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings. And uh, I normally start the videos with the lights on, but I wanted to show you this very unique 2020 Explorer ST. I don't know if you can pick that up, but it's got the Laser ST logos coming out of the side view mirrors down on the floor. Very cool little truck made by Ford, 2020 version. And if you were having trouble picking up where the lights are on the front of it, then I did my job well because we uh, smoked the set of LIN-6 lights that were put on the front of this vehicle. So they would be basically invisible when off. And now you can see when we activate them, they pop right into life and they're quite bright. We've got a set of LIN sixes right there in the grill. We've mounted them with a 3M VHB tape as well as the primer 94. And we've sealed that tape up with a little bit of RTV silicone around the edges as well as putting RTV silicone in the center of the light to stick it to the bottom of that fascia. We did this because we didn't want to have any holes at all on this beautiful 2020. Uh, owner requested, please don't drill any holes in my truck. So we have no problem. We obliged and uh, we're very confident in this mount that we won't have any issues with it. Very easy to do right there in the lower bumper opening of these trucks. And to run the wiring, you'll need to drill one small hole in the rubber fascia and the wire comes out basically behind the headlights. So here we are right in that front opening and the, as you can see, the lights are pretty stealth. I'll throw the camera light on for you and now you can see where they're at right there. But without that bright light on the camera, you don't even pick them up. There's a little clearer shot. You can just pick up that yellow and amber lens there. The smoking that we did in-house is a custom product done right here at the Wicked Warnings facility. So if you have any interest in that, make sure you stop in and, and Give us a shout locally or send us an email at info, I-N-F-O, at wickedwarnings.com and we can give you more information via email on that modification. And as you can see, the lights disappear. I try and throw a little bit of tech tip at you guys here while we're doing these videos now. And on this 2020 Explorer, firewall access is a bit of a pain underneath this cover right here. You can see is where we grabbed our power. We went off of the main power here that goes into the fuse box, added our own fuse. And we're coming around here. We've got a self-tapping ground into the brace right there. It gives us a nice good ground point right there. And then as far as firewall access, you can see right there where our wiring goes through. And uh, right there above that factory rubber boot. And then there's, a, I believe that's the hood latch pull cable. Right above that, there's a bend in the metal, and that's where we were able to drill that three-quarter hole right there. So let me try to get you a little bit better picture of it. There you go. Okay. As I said, you can see the fold in the metal. So if you're wondering how to get through the firewall on the brand-new Ford Explorer, that's what we did. Your results may vary. Um, just uh, let us know if it works out good for you. Let me show you the rest of the back of this vehicle. Alrighty, here we are around the back of the vehicle, and as you can see in the upper rear, rear windows, I have a Thin-X TIR series in amber white alternating in each of the turn signal and reverse housings in the tail light. We have amber and white hideaways, and in the back window of the tail hatch, we have our wicked stick in a six head amber white alternation course we had to enable the flood mode on that wicked stick so that is on a secondary switch on the dash here's a little better shot straight out the back so you can see that wicked stick doing its thing as well as our x patterned on the amber white hideaways we put in the tail lights on this particular build we put the wicked stick right inside the hatch as you can see it does raise with the hatch but you get a fairly significant amount of flashback off the glass so you can still see the wicked stick working well reflecting backwards as well as the hideaways in this particular vehicle hatch open no problem and then like i said there we've mounted the wicked stick inside the hatch ran all the wiring through the OEM boots so you have no issues of slamming any wires in the door, any wires coiled up, going to get caught on things, none of that stuff. Inside here we were able to get a little bit sneaky and we ran the wiring right into that vent and we used a clear VHB tape to mount to the glass. So again, damage free, no holes, ran it into the vent so this can be taken out if ever wanted and it's like there was never an installation in this vehicle. 
here at the light stick we had no choice we do have to damage one panel in order to do the light stick mounting but as you can see we were able to make a nice groove in this panel for the bracket to come through which will a nice hole for the wiring and now when and if this was a decommissioned it's just this one center panel that would have to be replaced very very minimal damage at all one plastic panel sacrificial to mount the six head stick in the hatch the way the client requested back here in the cockpit the client asked if we could put the switches right underneath the headlight switch here and uh we have no problem doing that we've put in a orange switch for the warning we've also put in a nice red switch for the flood and we put in a push button to control the pattern on the rear led stick that way we can choose uh, from, I think, up to 12 or 14 patterns on that slick stick in the back. And, of course, the flood will work with or without the warning on. makes no difference. And we went with the full illumination switches uh, just because it gives a nice, bright illumination when they're on. Very easy to see while you're driving. So there won't be any uh, issues driving around with the lights on and not realizing it. So thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency strobe light safety and LED equipment. Be sure to give us a call or an email at info wicked, at wickedwarnings.com, info at wickedwarnings.com, and check the description of the video for links to these products. If you like these products and you might want to do something like this on your own Explorer, look in the description of the video and there'll be links to every one of these products. And you could take those links right back to the website and get a little closer look at the product itself and make sure you get what you need for your own Explorer job. Thanks again for watching. Talk to you in the next video.